And we're back. Hello, strangers. It's episode number eight, Disney Catch-Up. Uh, the kids are back at school, so it's just us again. Sorry about that. No, not really. Lovely wife and I. I'm Kirsten. You are, and I'm Andre. And I did not go to Disney, but I did make music with a friend. Uh, she came over the day that they left, and uh, that is nice. And we had just put out a clip yesterday on Instagram. She's called Chloe, and uh, it was quite fun, actually. So while you were flying and having fun, I was uh, sat at the piano, relaxing, and uh, not worrying about airport stress. Speaking of which, how did it go? Do you know what? It was far less stressful than I thought it would I be. I knew it would be like that. Well, airports can be stressful places. Yeah. Um, you know, and the very first part of the journey, the getting to the airport... Um, despite us leaving on time and ready to go kind of had to be a bit diverted because as soon as we got to the train station we realized that the trains were either delayed or cancelled so we That's a lot of stress first thing in the morning well i mean look i always leave a huge amount of time to get to the airport so we were fine and we ended up getting a an uber because there was no way we were going to wait 45 minutes for the delayed train in case they then cancelled it because then we would have been yeah. scuppered. So we got the cab, that was fine. We did all the check-in stuff. We got through security really quickly. Jake's bag got pulled aside <laughs> and checked, um, but that was fine too. And yeah, it was all really easy, absolutely fine. Alice was really nervous on the flight going and she did not like it at all. Mm. Um, she does not remember really going on a plane because she would have been five the last time she when went. When we went to France. Yeah. So she found that part very stressful and was quite anxious about it. Whereas Jake loved every second and was just in his element. Yeah. Um, just like me. Yeah. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Um, but for me, because I was so focused on her, all of my anxiety was just pushed right to the back and gone. So Oh, there you go. It works out. It was, yeah, it was absolutely fine. And we got there, got our bags. That was all fine. We did then have a bit of an issue trying to find the magic shuttle bus, which takes you from the airport to yeah. the hotel. Um, it was all a bit tricky trying to work out where to go. And there were lots of French cab drivers trying to insist that they would take <laughs> us instead and i kept saying no no i've paid i've paid i need to find the bus stop and they were like oh it's fine i take you i take you um but it was fine we found it in the end and we got there and um despite having a very hangry alice um she's like a dad in that respect yeah she needed to eat Don't the stress not, of yeah. the plane and everything she hadn't really eaten and we I just relate. had to feed her um but it was honestly every part as magical as I hoped it would be. And I think the kids, um, because I know that my sister and my mum, and I think you maybe might have spoken about being a bit concerned that maybe it would be so hyped up that actually you'd get there and it wouldn't live up to the expectation. Yeah, your sister and I talked about that. Yeah, she, she said. But in actual fact, there is just so much to take in that there's no way you can't be utterly enthralled yeah it's it, it is incredible absolutely incredible and you know i was slightly worried about taking a 15 year old teenage boy <laughs> to disney as to whether he would really Get appreciate of yeah all of you know everything i knew that he would enjoy some of the rides and stuff but would he really enjoy the rest of it but he was so up for it all um, there wasn't one moment where he said, oh God, or, oh, do we have to do that? You know, he sat on the Dumbo ride and the carousel and he did everything um, and really enjoyed it. We all absolutely loved it. We oh, were full on every day, absolutely exhausted, um, walked thousands and thousands of steps. Did you even um, look at your step count? Well, one of the days, so the first day my watch didn't charge typically, 
Um, the second day, for some reason, there was a real discrepancy between mine and Jake's, um, which we did exactly the same. So it didn't really make sense. Um, what, you know, his was like 8,000 more than mine. And there was never a time when he was doing stuff that I wasn't. So I'm not quite sure how that Did he go worked. on rides? That not you didn't? really without me. And if he was doing a ride, we were doing a ride. So there wasn't uh, ever a time when there was that much. Because I was thinking but... maybe it got confused by all the upside downness. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I, I don't know. Um, but then there was the day when I checked and it was 28,000. Yikes. Um, but yeah, so something around that. But you are just walking and walking. And if you're not walking, you're standing because you're queuing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I was incredibly grateful, actually, to have waited to have taken the kids at this age yeah, than yeah, being yeah. little. Because you see all the small children and it's so much, it's so overwhelming for them. And then the queuing, you know, you're queuing like an hour on average yes. for rides. It's, it's a lot for a small child. And, you know, trying to manage that, I, I would have really struggled. So... Yeah, I'm what really glad the that they were. What about small boys that irritated Jake? <laughs> I think they irritated all of us. Do you know, it wasn't even, even Jake said, it wasn't them, they were just being little kids. It was the parents' lack of... Awareness. Um, yeah, they were a French family behind us in the queue. We had to queue for an hour for this particular ride. And they just, they just weren't watching them enough. You know, they were little boys, maybe like three or four three or five, they were little, little, little boys. And they were just running around and, you know, that's fine. But when they are running into people or one of them kept running really far up through the queue and then the parents would just leave them to just stand there. And you're thinking there's all these other people. Um, you know, at one point they had some snacks and the youngest one came and held on to Alice's coat, which she wasn't. It was her brand new jacket that she'd bought while we were there. And there he was with his little grubby hands, grubby hands and her face just said it all. So, and, and the parents hadn't seen. So I had to sort of say, no, thank you. And take his hand off. Um, and then as we got inside where you're still queuing um, and it becomes very dark, he had wandered in front of us to look at something. And I stood to the side so that the parents could see where he'd gone, but they were completely oblivious and he just carried on walking and still the parents had no idea that he'd walked off until he eventually started calling for his mom and then suddenly she was like oh where are you and there's a there's a friday night dinner idiom that comes to mind at this point what oh, am yeah? i thinking of parents be spatially aware <laughs> my favorite Come on. yeah that's that is the thing they just i mean it did make the kids laugh at one point because i told them they were obviously speaking in French and I understand a little bit um, but I think the boys had hit each other or they'd, they'd not been very nice to each other or something so the dad pretended to call Father Christmas to tell him and they were like no no um, and I told our kids that and they thought that was really funny that is quite um, funny yeah um, tell us yeah. about your first eating experience at Disney because it didn't go well did it the McDonald's that one no it, I have to say that everything else was amazing and we loved it. It was the McDonald's just wasn't. Um, and we'd only gone there because A, we wanted to see what French McDonald's offered that was maybe different to here. And it was a quick, easy place to visit. Although it wasn't that quick because actually we queued for about half an hour, maybe a bit more to get inside. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, the, the ordering was quite complicated despite us trying to put it into English it still didn't really come across like that was it like for English yeah basically oh joy um and but you know we did what we needed to do we ordered and then you know you queue to go up and get your food um what was a bit strange is Alice had asked for a smoothie so she, we'd ordered a smoothie and then when only two drinks came and I went back and asked she said oh you need to go to the Mook Cafe, which was a completely, still within the same building, but in a completely different space. So nowhere did it sort of say that. So then you have to go and queue again really? to ask for your drink. And then they go and get the stuff to make the smoothie to come back to make it. So it just, that just seemed a little bit disjointed when you've got so many people. In a park um, for kids. 
like yeah it was just a bit you, you don't know, want to wait around it just it is what it is um i just thought well if i hadn't checked and we'd gone i wouldn't have known that it wasn't there um oh, you would not and then it just they hadn't put any sources in and so to then queue back up to get the sources would have just been too much at that point by the time we actually did sit down to eat and so the um veggie nuggets i suppose whatever it was that i had because i don't eat meat um were very dry um but you know it, it is and then chips i think they cook it in a different oil i yeah. think that because they just didn't quite taste right so um, anyone who's been to disney in france if you've been to the mcdonald's let us know because yeah was it just a one-off was this a one-off or is yeah. it just always crap like that and is the rest of the mcdonald's you know in other parts of france is that okay i don't know got to know um, because if we go back and we try it yeah i'm kind of curious now, you know? <laughs> but you know we basically just ate and needed to go and lie down and go to sleep because we were all exhausted um but the rest of the food that we had we were so lucky everything was delicious they had really big portions um you know you always think you're going to pay and you do you pay a lot of money because you're in a theme park and that's what you expect yeah. um i was lucky enough that we'd been saving for a really really long time and very fortunate that my family had given us some money towards that as well so there was no scrimping and saving i had basically said it was free reign for the kids and we didn't overeat ever we had reasonable meals we had everything we wanted to try everything lived up to what we expected um and we just enjoyed the whole thing, the whole thing. So did you, like, I mean, what, what was a typical day like then, start to finish, kind of? So because we stayed in a Disney hotel, so we stayed in, like, the most budget one, I suppose. It was a two-star hotel. Um, and again, for what it is, it was fine. If you're going expecting it to be this amazing, incredible hotel, then more for you because it is a two-star budget hotel. But it was perfectly comfortable. It was, you know, pretty much clean. But there was nothing, you know, there was a little bit of mold in the bathroom because it doesn't have ventilation. But the sheets were clean. It smelt clean. It was absolutely fine for us. You're not there very, very much. So I really don't think you need to necessarily spend a fortune on the hotel. Yeah. Um, so because we were staying in a Disney hotel, you got the magic hour, which meant that you had an hour before the park officially opens. Um, we did find it a bit of a struggle to get there in time for that because where we were, we were about a 25 minute walk. Um, and we always chose to walk instead of getting the bus because it was a really nice walk. Um, so we would have a drink and maybe something to eat in the morning to get there. And then obviously you have to queue to get in because there are still thousands of people that are staying in the hotels as well that also have the magic hour. Um, so was so, this all in the whole Disney complex or were you actually in France proper going from hotel no, to No, no, no. It's Disney. all a massive complex, basically. Um, you're kind of not far out, I suppose, but you're not in a city or anything like that. You are, yeah, it's all this huge. If you see it from above on a map, it's almost like a huge circle of space. Um, so where we were, there was a really nice little river that we could walk all the way down, um, cross over. You'd see the other hotels as we go because our hotel being the budget one was furthest away. But we really enjoyed the walk every day. It was really nice. Um, it was really calm. It was very quiet along the river so then you come to the disney village which is where um they just have a lot of restaurants and shops and things which the kids loved going into the shops um and then you walk down and you've got the two parks you have disney studios and you have the main disney um disney park so we would go to whichever of those parks we wanted to start in yeah um and then make our way round the rides basically oh, yeah sounds like you had a lot of fun then a lot of walking and a lot of a lot seeing. of walking a lot to take in a lot of fun definitely we had yeah 
lots of memories, definitely. Would you go back? Yeah, I would. I mean, I think it'll take me a while to save back up again. <laughs> and I think maybe we decided that we probably wouldn't stay in that hotel. We might stay in the next one up. Yeah. Um, just because the theme is slightly different and we thought it would be quite fun to stay in that one. It looked really cool from the outside. Um, not for any other reason. The one that we were in was perfectly fine. Noisy. Um, a little bit, but we were at the end of the corridor, so it wasn't too bad. It's just the bathrooms are sort of slightly connected, I guess, through a wall. So when the people next door were using the bathroom, you know, from like half six in the morning, um, which isn't terribly unreasonable, you know, you, we would get up at seven yeah. or I would, and then I would have to raise the children. Um, <laughs> but, you know, you can hear all of that and there is just normal Normal noises, like any hotel, I think. it's. But no fan. Well, there was a ceiling fan, um, but it didn't make any noise. So, you you know, we're all used to sleeping with a fan at night as background noise. Um, we didn't have that, and I think we did struggle a little bit. But that's because of how we do things. I, I can't, you know, blame the hotel for that. No, lots of people um, sleep in absolute silence. Yeah, some people do sleep. need that. Um, I don't know how, but, you know, <laughs> that's just how some people are. Indeed. Yeah. So, look, how about the fun part? You've yeah. got some clips for us. Let's I hear do. a clip or two, and maybe you can describe uh, what happens in it. Yeah. Um, so, I will show you a clip of the dragon that is hidden under the... I mean, I say hidden. You can find him quite easily. But he's hidden under the Disney castle itself. Yeah. Um, and he's this huge, big dragon with red eyes that most of the time is asleep, but every now and then wakes up and definitely lets, lets you know that he's there. All right. So, I, oh, sorry. I will play that. Okay. So we're hearing roaring. Yeah. So there's smoke coming out of his nostrils. And he flails his head from side to side, looking at everybody with his big, red, angry eyes. I wonder if he's like smell. So this is just it. It's gone round again, just repeated. Um, but it's just, you know, the detail is just amazing. You feel like you're in the cave with him and he's got a chain around his neck and the claws and the wings. And it just is very cool. Oh. We um we all really enjoyed that. I did um, really enjoy the clips you sent, although I was a little jealous because you were oh, having so much fun. And it was I know, I know. And the thing own. was, if it if we could just take you there to just eat the food and just do the rides, yeah, it would be amazing. But I know that you would really struggle with the level of pushing and shoving and all the people and the amount of queuing. <laughs> um, all of that, I know you would really struggle with that because you have to be really forceful and really stand your ground with people. Of course. And I think you would really struggle with people bumping into you and pushing past and, you know, the hours, hours and hours that we were just in lines. I would become um, like rock. Yeah. Plant you myself. You would really have struggled with that. So from that point of view, I probably wouldn't. It's rudeness I struggle with. Yes. And there were a couple of times when I had to be really firm. And I'm not good at that. You know that I am, you know. Tame. Uh, yes. Yeah. But there was one occasion where we were all queuing to get in in the morning. And this French grand, grand couple, the grandparents and this little boy with a buggy were behind us. And Alice was to the side of me. And they had just angled themselves to go in front of her, to push in front. And I was like, this is nah. just, you know, it, it was just the way that they had done it was so sneaky. Um, so I moved her to the side and stood in front of the buggy and I stood my ground. Because if you don't, everybody just pushes past you. There is no, you know, like I think as British people, we're really good at queuing. We might whinge about it or whatever, but we form a queue. That's what we do. Yeah. Um, and we stick to that queue. The French people don't necessarily want to do that. Um, and they will do whatever they can 
for that extra couple of seconds to get in front of you to get in first. Rude. Um, and yeah, you you would have struggled. <laughs> massively i'm sure i would have uh, talked to some people yes i'm sure you <laughs> I would have had words um so the next clip i will show you is from the electronic parade that that they had um so they do that every night uh, i think it was at like 9 50 so obviously it's completely dark and the disney castle is lit up oh yeah um and goes along with the theme and there we go. So what's happening in this one? So they have lights in the sky, which we think are maybe done with drones. We're not quite sure. Jake and I have talked about it many times. Um, but they make these 3D pictures move across the sky. In this particular one, it's a... Sorry, it's just looping around. Um, it's a train, like the train from Dumbo. Yeah. the Casey Jr. train um, and the wheels are turning as it's going up over a hill across the Disney castle and it's just incredible some of the you know it's got steam coming out of it and we had no idea it's 3D and it's movement and it's just insane to watch um, we do have a full video of it if anybody wants to see we could are you going to Instagram some of these um, you should, you know. I could do. I probably won't be able to for the full video that Jake took because I think it's quite long. Yeah. That might have to be something that goes onto YouTube. But if anybody wants to see that, then let us know and we'll find somewhere to put it. I don't know. But it, it is incredible to see. Um, poor Alice didn't get to see much of it because the crowds are insane for these things and everybody puts their small children on their shoulders yeah. Um, so she didn't get to see much of it, but Jake did film really well. So, well, if I had, I would have been the Alice carrier, <laughs> put her up on my shoulders. Yeah, she'd have definitely seen then. Um, the next one I will show is from the main uh, Halloween parade, oh, yeah. which is in the afternoon, um, where they have you know the the big huge floats, yeah, coming with the characters on and. Then obviously to fit the Halloween theme, they had um, people dressed as zombies and other dancers and things. And it, you know, it's really, really fun, really impressive. Um, there it goes. Oh, there you are. I like the voice in this. Welcome, yeah. That is cool. So you just have a lot of zombies <laughs> running around at that point. Yeah. Um, which was really cool. Um, and it does, it lasts a significant period of time um, with all the characters that you would expect. You know, Mickey and Minnie and Chip and Dale, Daisy and Donald Duck, um, and plenty of others. Um, so that was, that was really fun. And then one of our... This is the last video, but one of our la uh, one of our favorite rides was the "It's a Small World." Oh yeah, um, which is incredible. Good music you, in that. Good music. Yeah, you sit in a boat with lots of other people, um, and you go go through, and it, there's just so much to see. We did it twice, and I think we still didn't see everything. But it is, uh, I guess, animatronic dolls, almost figures. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah from every single country, pretty much. I mean, don't quote me, maybe there are countries that they missed, but it, it felt like every single country you could ever imagine was represented in some form, things moving. Um, it, it was so bright. There was just everywhere you looked, up and above and layers to it. It was just, yeah, insane. Um, so that's next. I feel like I recognise the music. It's quite a classic Disney tune, I believe. Oh, hello. That's you. <laughs> God, I hope YouTube won't copyright strike this. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, we really enjoyed that one, too. 
Um, those are all the video clips that I have. Yeah, well, the ones you've edited anyway. There's yes. lots more. So maybe you'll make like a montage or something and um, yeah. we can always come back with a, an update at some point if you upload them somewhere. Mm -hmm. That sounds like fun. Hey, maybe it's time for you to resurrect your old YouTube channel. The last thing on it is the kids yeah. when they're much, much younger. Years and years ago. Well, I think it's time to, uh, you know, you've got a podcast, fix your YouTube <laughs> up, bring it to life. I can do that. I think that's fun. Okay. Do you remember the last time we did anything? Actually, that didn't go on your channel. It went on mine. Was when we did the cruise in 19. Oh, and yes. I did the music to pictures thing. It was the ceiling, wasn't the ceiling. it? The, the changing ceiling. Yes. The dome. That Absolutely. Was, that was a good video. That was very fun. Yeah. Well, I need an, another excuse to do that again. We shall see. Okay. We shall see. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, this is kind of it for this. I mean, apart from actually... The last thing I suppose would be to how was it coming home because we talked about going was coming back just as easy yeah pretty much everything the airport was really nice um I'd never been to that airport before was it not Charles de Gaulle yeah um that's the only thing I know in French but yeah really. no it was a really nice airport everything um was fine nobody's bag got stopped this time um every stage was I mean, we had to queue for a little while to drop the bag off, but you expect that. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, everything was absolutely fine. Jake sat by the window on the way back and loved it. Um, took Did some he really... not on the way out? Okay. No, they took it in turn. So Alice sat by the window on the way. Uh, you sat in the middle. And I sat in the middle. And then... Um, swapped. The same. Yeah, they swapped coming back. Um, Very cool. And yeah, we landed on time. Got through passport control surprisingly quickly and um my mum had arranged for because we just decided it was a friday evening it was six o'clock you know we were all exhausted and the, we were the plan was to get the train home um but the thought of doing that after the long day we were all just so exhausted so my mum had arranged a um cab to come and pick us up so he was waiting there and yeah i don't know what time we got home maybe seven Past so. six, seven, something around that. Um, yeah, it wasn't really that late. No, such. it wasn't. It wasn't terrible. It was. And then you had a proper thing. McDonald's. Then we had proper McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> and that was much, much better. <laughs> yeah, which is the way it should be. Yes. Well, there you go, folks. Hope you enjoyed the tour through Disney. Um, I did not get to go, but I did get to enjoy it secondhand, like you. And uh, maybe one day I will go and I will bring back lots of audio recordings and what have you. So uh, enjoy. Next time, um, we have a different plan entirely. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, and in between time, see you next time. Which I stole from Dave Plummer. But I like it. <laughs> Very good. Now then, if you're still listening post-music, welcome to a little clip I've got for you just especially. This is Microsoft's Seeing AI most recent update, which can now describe videos. In this clip, Alice is driving a car around a track at Disney, and I thought I'd leave it as a little Easter egg after the music, because we like to do that around here. Here we go. A view from inside a car on a track, showing the road ahead. Let's go fast now. A child is seen driving, holding the steering wheel of the car. Keep going. Alice is driving, Daddy. The child continues to drive, focusing on the road. Hi, Daddy. Alice is driving a car. The view shifts to the road ahead, with a sign warning not to bump the car ahead. With the pedal and the steering. That's it, keep okay. going. The car continues along the track, passing under a bridge. You're still going, that's it. Keep going, keep going. The car moves forward on the track, with a bridge visible in the background. Keep going. The car continues on the track, with a view of the road ahead. You're fine, you're fine. Keep driving. The car moves along the track, with a sign warning not to bump the car ahead. Fast, go fast. Go on, creep. Really go on Just keep fast. it. Okay. The car continues on the track, with the road ahead visible. Keep it down as fast as it'll go. You're doing so. The car moves forward, with the track and surroundings visible. Good. <laughs> the car continues along the track, with a view of the side of the track. Keep going. So a child smiles while driving, enjoying the ride. You're so good. Do you like driving? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>